Hey, we're here with uh, Steve Matthews of Catholic. Hey, it's John with Diamond Clear nice Media. So nice to see you. Just want to talk a little football. Uh, to, who do you have this year that uh, might be playing in college in 18? Uh, that's the first question I've got. You know, Catholic always got a real nice squad. So who are we looking for to be looking uh, to, see, to get to the next level? Well, luckily we have several. There's uh, there's uh, Cade Mays, who's going to the University of Tennessee. Uh, Cam Blakely is committed to Miami of Ohio. Um, and really, uh, several more from there. DJ Mitchell has. I love how it's hard for you to just remember them all. That's, that's incredible. <laughs> DJ Mitchell has ten to twelve offers. Um, we had a move in from um, from um, Indiana. His name's Deshaun Bustle. He he's got a chance to be an outstanding player. He has an Iowa offer and some Big Ten offers. Now he's coming down here. I think the ACC and the SEC will start to notice him. Um, and, and really, several more. Um, that, that, are, that are smaller schools weighing their options, Josh Brown, uh, Joe Fluker in the Citadel. Um, so th- th- there's several that are going to end up playing college football. We're lucky. Last year we had eight, that, um, eight out of 18, and uh, we'll probably hit, hit that mark or higher again this year. Yeah, great. Uh, so, I mean, as you reload from year to year, uh, I guess the, you know, we, we picked up quite a few Catholic followers from, I mean, we had a Brock Jancic dunk that was viewed 40,000 times oh, wow. on Twitter. Yeah. So we've got some people that will see this interview. What, uh, As you tailor what you do to who you have, will there be much difference this year versus last as you've reloaded? Like the product on the field, will it look pretty much the same, just plug new people in, or will there be some differences? I think a lot of differences. Last year uh, our receiving core was you know, probably the best in the state. Losing Amari Rogers, Chase Kershaw, uh, Chase Cunningham at quarterback. Losing those guys, yeah, we're going to be a little different team this year, more run oriented, okay. which which is good. Um, we'll we'll still be able to throw it um, and, and catch it like always. But I I feel great about our offensive line. Uh, last year we started three freshmen really on the offensive line, and and those guys are gr- are growing up right now. You know, three sophomores obviously, so uh, they're growing up, continuing to get better, and uh, so hopefully we'll be able to come downhill a little more in the run game. Tell me, what, uh, how have your kids embraced the challenge this offseason? I mean, I know there's obviously a culture there, and there's high expectations, so everyone knows they have to come to work at, you know, hard in the offseason. But tell me how the offseason has gone. It's been great. It's a great group of young men. I, I really enjoy coaching them. Um, I, I let them go to the pool today, so they're loving me right now. <laughs> and, uh, they don't always. <laughs> but they're, they're a good group to coach, and, and I think they know the expectations now. Uh, we, we talk about playing with a brand, and you put the gold helmet on. That's a brand of football we want to play. And they're buying into that, and we have good leadership in this squad. And uh, I'm, I'm really excited about this year. The schedule is actually brutal, but we're, we're excited about it. We want to play the best, and uh, it only makes us a better program. Well, hey, thanks for taking a minute for us. I will say that, uh, you know, we've streamed basketball and football games. Catholic has always been just tremendous open arms, tons of help. Uh, and Brian Rogers, if you know him, he's one of my best friends from about sixth grade and friends with John. So I know that, uh, that you just take care of everybody. Thank you so much for that type of outreach. And uh, just look forward to seeing what Catholic can do again this year. We appreciate it. And you guys do a great job as well. I, I know we've been on several times. Anything you ever need, just let us know. And uh, we appreciate what you do for high school. Uh, sports and these young men. All right, thanks, Coach. Thank you. Randy. Thank you. All right, it's continuing coverage here of uh, Knox County Media Days. That was Catholic Coach Steve Matthews, gracious enough to give us a minute. Stick with us; we'll have more coverage.